Hey there, my name is Chuck Black and welcome to my studio. So I've been working on this larger painting here and in the last video I showed you how I did the aspen trees over here. Well, in this video we're going to cover how I paint my cabins. And we're going to use this one as an example and I've got a little bit of a start, but we're going to turn the lights on in the end. It's going to be a lot of fun, so stick with us. Let's get to it. Okay, so of course we have an acrylic painting here. And I have basically painted the whole thing uh, very roughly, blocked in a lot of this. And then we moved to the sky, and we started adding some details. Then we moved to the mountains, and then the trees in the last video. And now I'm going to move over to this part and work on the cabin. And, and the trees behind here are mostly done, but they're not in a lot of detail because we might put in some larger trees in front of the cabin here. And I don't want to put in more work than I have to, so I'm not sure what parts are going to be covered up. So we're just going to kind of leave this uh, roughly sketched in, but the tones are right. I'm happy with the colors. And now this cabin right here. So we're going to get some water on our palette. I'm going to take water, dip my fingers, and just kind of pat the water on my palette just so I have that to mix with the water, with the paints here. And... What I'm going to do is start by, we want to lay in all the logs here. So I'm going to take some raw sienna, some burnt sienna, mix it together, some black. Mix those three colors together, a little bit of white. Medium brown color, that'll get us started. What we want to do Just kind of lay in, start at the bottom. Of course, one thing that I like to do is make sure that we have a real nice house that's, that's built straight. So I kind of make sure that what I'm laying in is going to be as good as it can be anyways. And so we're going to start Laying logs. It's that simple. You see there's some imperfections that are going in there, and that's fine because we know that logs can be all different shapes. And I'm just mixing some slightly more grayish tone. Not worried about shadows, not worried about Really anything other than just getting that color close to being correct and just getting the shapes in there. Just getting more of that color mixed. That's about all we need to do there. I'm going to wash the brush here and then I'm just going to grab more of that paint. And we're going to we're going to do probably the same over on this building. I'm not 100% positive what we want this building to be yet.
I design all my own cabins and buildings, so sometimes it takes a while to decide what I want to do. Uh, that's a good enough start anyways. We're going to put some windows and doors on this, of course, and what we're going to do is going to take some black and burnt sienna little white and we want that to be in the center I'll put it about just going from side to side where are the sides of these this door is going to be somewhere in there grab a little more black just so we can outline that See if I like that. So that's a little door we can just place right there. Well, if we do that, probably going to want to have a little bit of an overhang. And that would probably pop out here to here. Maybe it would. Go up something like that. I really don't like the overhang idea. So just cover it up with some gray. We do need to think about the windows. So we take some yellow and white, red, more yellow. And think about where the windows are going to be. Probably. Be right there. I'm just gonna put one over here then. Now that my logs are straight, I can use those as kind of guides to put my windows in. And I can't decide what I want to do over in this side, maybe bigger window right here. I don't like that. Just wipe it off my finger before it dries. Well, we could probably paint this roof here, get some gray down, a little more black to that. One thing we are going to need to do is shade this a little bit better. All we do is grab some black, add some water to that. See how we just put an overhang in there, just like that. Just a little black, black and water. We instantly have a nice overhang. And we do the same with this one here. Instantly got an overhang, just like that. Just trying to figure out what my roof is going to be like. 
Do I have it right? I keep thinking, do I want a chimney right here? Or do I want to put that somewhere else? I think the best thing that I can do black here. I'm just going to fan that out. It starts to shade that upper area quite nicely. I think what I'm going to do is just let this dry and we'll come back to it once I think about it a little more. Okay, so I've decided that what I don't like about it is the windows. At least right now, I want to shrink those windows. So I'm going to take some black burnt sienna some raw sienna, look at that dark brownish color. Let's bring in those windows. About like that. Wash my brush quick. And we're also going to need some logs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take white and black. We're going to mix some gray into this mixture. A little more raw sienna. Oh, big old log to be right there. And these logs are going to come out probably about right there and we're going to be putting in some more right here on this side let's just get those on there so Sometimes all of this kind of helps bring things together visually for me. So just do what we know what to do and that's ends of these logs and those are going to need to be out a little bit further. I want to put those probably about right there. And wash the brush. I think we can also take some gray. We can start to bring in this black we have. We're going to need to make that gray a little darker so we can pick up some black. Just clean up that edge right there. Looks a lot better. I'm just going to take some more black. Start to define our edges a little more to see what I like about this, what I don't. Find a door a little better. Edges of these windows. Put in some overhang on our roof a little bit more. Makes kind of a brownish color. And 
just going to sweep that right underneath the roof. And we can mix more yellow and white together. Just define those windows a little bit more. So now I can see our windows are uh, a little bit better. Now if there's something I don't like about the roof, I'm going to take some black and bring in the top of that roof. A little bit to the left. And perhaps the wall needs to, the corner of the, of the cabin maybe needs to come in to the left a little more, just so that roof overhangs. I want that roof to overhang a little bit more. And we take some more gray working on this. Maybe we'll take some black. We'll have that building in the back kind of end right there. Comes down right there. And our log up here needs to be lowered down. We've got that log sticking out. We want it to look like it's sticking out. That's just not going to look right until we lower it. Mix that grayish color again. It's going to be more down here. I'm moving this wall back, so I'm repainting the ends of these logs, and then I'll have to make these ones over here disappear. And the way we can do that is just get a darker color. Maybe get some burnt sienna mixed in that. I'll have to take some gray, paint over that. I'll take some black to fill in these lines, just kind of repainting what's behind it. brush. Now that's starting to look a little bit better. More so what we wanted. I want it to look very rustic. back window here. Let's make some burnt sienna, some yellow together, some black. Well, 
a darker orange. Get some red in there. There we go. I'm gonna put we're gonna put this kind of back here in the middle. That middle is gonna come down about right there. We'll go about that far on either side of the middle. We'll fill that in with orange. We're gonna have an orange window back here. I don't think I want it as big, so I'm going to take my finger, wipe that off before it dries. that wash my brush then I just get all kinds of colors I'm trying to get a lighter brown not too bright though it's gonna have to be a little bit darker than that dark paint. Maybe that'll work. Don't like that. I'm going to take some water, that same burnt orange. I'm going to put some in on both of these windows. So you want to see like the, this might be the frame of, the, of these windows so we can kind of look like the windows are sunken in there. And we want some light to be coming from underneath. So I just take some yellow, some white. We can start with yellow and white. Up a little orange. And we might want maybe uh, a little bit of a highlight on the top of this roof. We can keep that same color. This has got a lot of water in it, but you can see that it does leave a little bit on our canvas here. And as we move further down the roof, we lose our paint and it becomes darker. So we maintain that effect of the light coming down from up top and fading. We can grab that same color. We can do the same thing with this building over here. Naturally, the paint just starts to dissipate off the brush. We might even take that same color, go on the tops of these logs. Yeah, 
adding highlights to the tops of these logs. Very subtle. You see how that much of a difference that makes for these logs. That's how we kind of get them three-dimensional. And of course, we're going to mix some, maybe some orange. Burnt sienna, brown sienna. We're going to put that around these windows. Then we're going to want to take that same color and underneath the roof here, add a little bit of that light color. Looks like the light is shining up against the bottom of this roof. We might put some more light in this window. A lot of this will, will change as we go. Then we're going to want to take some black, get some water in there. Very carefully, you can see I'm adding the shadows of our shingles. Now we're going to want shadows going this way. See, a lot of it is all about textures. The more textures we add, as long as we're careful about it, the better it's going to get. Now we got a lot more realism to that. And we can do the same, same color, we can do the same. this roof over here. And we're going to want to take, make some white and black, make some gray. We're going to want a wood stove pipe coming out the top. I'm just trying to decide how big I want it. I have to wash my brush again. Of course, we're going to want smoke to come out the top. I'll take my finger. And this takes some practice, but I'll switch fingers as the paint gets to a different consistency. You have to press harder as it starts to dry. A 
little more white. See what I mean about covering these trees behind. I'm not sure what's going to get covered. And that area underneath the, the smoke here is now going to get covered and we won't end up, we will not have to do anything with what's behind the smoke. So that just saved us some time. Clean that smoke over here. Fire's going to be had to have been burning for a little while, so we want the smoke to spread. This creates a haze. Just that little extra factor can go a long ways. We've got some pretty smoke above there now. Wash my brush. Take some red and yellow. Want a little window over there. Another one right there. That would be another one right there. Leave that faint for now. I don't know how intense I want that part to be. I may want this one window over here to be a little brighter. So let me just put some yellow in there for now. Of course, we can spread some of that on the ground. A little bit of yellow. Yeah, just making some texture. And this area over here. Still not sure if I, if I like everything about the cabin. Can't decide what to do yet. Put some more yellow in those windows. Of course, we're gonna want to take some white, just some white on the brush. Dab it right in the middle of the window. A little bit in the corner up here. I'll take some more black, raw sienna. Get it right above that highlight we laid in under the roof. Put some black between the roof and those highlights. Touching up some areas. Just got some gray and raw sienna. Right underneath the window, I'm rubbing some of that lighter color. Look like the light's actually coming out of the windows then. We might have to do some more work with this cabin. We might put maybe a foundation underneath. For the most part though, that's generally how I get my cabins. We might take some black and some gray. Let's just stand this cabin up a little bit. See what it looks like. We can get rid of it if we don't like it. Let's just lift it off the ground.
And then if we did that, I'm gonna mix some lighter grayish yellow. We would have to have some stairs that would have to go right there. We'd have to take some burnt sienna and gray, kind of mix that in underneath. cabin starts to get too close to our creek so we move that creek yeah, just a little bit out of the way we can fix that later more raw sienna it's important to make sure that our light's going to look how we want it, so I'm laying in just some of the area around our cabin. That's in black. something a little bit better. Yeah, we can work on that, but that is looking a whole lot better. Take some darker gray, give a shadow to our, our pipe up here. Of course, we might take some black, really darken those shadows between the logs. I'm going to take some more yellow. We can start playing some more with these highlights on the grasses around the, around the area of the windows. Just kind of looking ahead. How is this going to work with the surroundings? What's in front of it's a big deal. So I'm kind of looking at what's closer up along here. Is this going to work well? Mixing some black and some burnt sienna together. just kind of helps me visualize the cabin a little bit. I know I want some of this highlight to be out of here. Having some of this black. Having, I like having black underneath the cabin. 
right down in here. What that does is it gives the eye kind of that, that contrast comparison between the light and the solid black. And that by putting the solid black down, the light is actually going to look brighter. That's just kind of the way we perceive these things. If I take some more black on the brush and I'll put it right, right underneath. Right where the stairs come out, that corner is going to be kind of dark. Right through here is going to be kind of dark as well. slowly looking, slowly looking better and better. Little highlights on these logs right here. You just kind of see them pop out. I might have to work on this a little bit more, but we're getting it pretty close. If we add some more Lighter yellow highlights. Yeah, just right there. Just kind of and a couple right over here. We'll take that yellow, put it on the inside of this window frame. So it looks like there's light coming in from the right, and we'll brush a little bit of that light up in this side. Some highlights right here just kind of exaggerate some of those highlights I'm sure the highlights wouldn't reach the trees right here but we can do that in the painting that just creates a cool effect by including light exaggerated light closer and closer to our light source it's going to just look more dramatic so i'm just going to take some red and black a little bit of yellow and intensify this area add some more red behind it yeah, just kind of playing with ideas we can refine these leaves down later, but the, this is how we just roughly lay it in. I'm going to take some raw sienna and some white. Kind of brighten them right through here. Some grasses. Brighter grasses just right Underneath. Again, that's very exaggerated. We know the light in real life wouldn't reach way, way out here. But it looks really cool. And once we start adding more texture around it, putting in some texture. We can change the color of this with glazing. We're just laying in some color or some texture. A little bit of light escaping through this tree right here. A little bit. Lighten up that area over here. A more separation between these two buildings. I 
And I'll add all kinds of little features, little details. I want to put maybe some old wagon wheels. I want to put some accessories all around the house. Maybe even a moose paddle, something like that. But that's a lot of time, maybe for another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think we're just about close to wrapping up this painting right here, this, this cabin right here. And it might take some adjustment, but I'll have that'll have to wait till I finish the rest of the painting before I can tell if I'm finished or not here. Okay, so I've stopped the video and, and come back and I've been thinking about the cabin a little more and I really don't, I think the windows look too low. So the first thing we can do to at least experiment of, of how to correct this is we could take it one log up. We could just mix some gray, a little bit of raw sienna. We can go right across the bottom of that window with that color. Then we can take some black and add that shadow, get rid of that last bit of the window underneath. Wash the brush. We can grab some yellow, some raw sienna. We can go one more log up and across. And I'm just picking up some random colors here on the palette that are close. Just kind of bring that part up. I have to grab some burnt sienna and kind of lift that frame up as well. And of course we'd have to take some more burnt sienna, some yellow, a little bit of white, and go right underneath that log, right underneath the window, across this log. We'll take some, add some black to that mixture. Maybe some more gray. Just try to cover that as best we can. Let me take some more white, yellow together. And just go up higher. One more log up the tops of these windows. That's looking quite a bit better. I think we may have messed up our, our roof. So I'm going to just bring that roof out kind of back to where it was. Take some black, add in some of that detail, we can fix it more later. I think we can add a little more highlight to this part of the roof. So we can kind of show that it does overhang out away. Out away from the edge of our building, I brush some of that away. And I might darken this line, laying this down pretty strong. Oh, we're just trying to get a better idea. That at least helps me. I think we're on the right track. We just got to define that a little bit better. For the most part, that's all there is to it. I'm going to have a couple logs. A 
big ones underneath down here. You might shrink those just a little bit, but it gives us something to think about. I'm going to speed it up. I might add some trees and some accessories around the house, but, but the cabin itself, for the most part, is just about there. And I'm just going to be adding some final touches. Just You'll see me poking around at different things, just using this liner brush and adding some texture, some shadows, and uh, just some cool details. Then we'll talk about it when we finish. So I wanted to jump in here and just let you know about what's happening with the cabin. You can see I made a huge adjustment to the roof. I lowered that a lot and I'll be reworking the windows, changing the shape of the windows, splitting up that big window on the side into two windows, and then I'll be adding a log to the bottom of the cabin to make that cabin drop down a little more so that it just looks like it's the right height compared to where the windows are and how big the roof is. And the reason I, I'm doing this is because I just could not get the cabin how I wanted it to be the way it was before. So it was very hard for me to figure out how to paint this in real time as it just took such a long time. It was such a long and tedious process. But I wanted to include this, this sped up version and just give you a little insight on what's going on here. But then at the end, I talk about it a little bit more. So. Anyways, if you have questions about this, please leave them in the comments below. As always, I'm happy to answer.
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think that wraps up the cabin. I hope you learned something as well. I do apologize for changing it so much, but you know, that's just kind of how things go sometimes. And in this case, it was very difficult for me. So you can see that I lowered the roof and that was the major change I did in the beginning. And once I lowered the roof, I got those windows kind of back where they were, lowered them a bit. And then I added a log on the bottom of the cabin and lowered that cabin down even more. And then I was happy with it overall, and it was pretty much just adding details after that. Just little tiny textures. Then I started working on the trees, the antlers, just using that liner brush and the same methods that I went over in real time. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, happy hating everybody.